Okay, this is a quick disclaimer. We don't usually do yuckstra stuff and goofball stuff. There's no cars in the shop. Yeah, that's, that's this, the only this, reason this is This is something that we set this thing up like last week and Bruce was going to be a part of it, but every time he came, there's a car in the shop. We don't do yuckstra stuff. I don't like it. Right now, there's no cars in the shop, so we're going to do a little bit of yuckstra stuff. You've seen the 3D printed wheels that our good friend Jeff made us. We used a little bit of Honda Bond and basically stuck that to the fidget spinner. This, I should have got a hold of Kirk from Boost Lab and said, can you balance this wheel? We're going to spin it with some serious RPMs. This is going to shoot there. And then I'm going to set the camera that you're looking at, this camera, I'm going to sit it right here. George is going to operate the air. So if anything goes wrong, if you see pieces missing out of George, that's because something went wrong. But we're anticipating everything should be good. See if we can get it to be nice and clear. The humidity might affect the plastic. Ready? Yeah, and I'm going to film from a safe distance with my iPhone 7 with a brand new battery. We just took a Rotrex housing, which this wheel is basically off. It's exactly uh, printed from a Rotrex compressor wheel. So just to see if it changes the effect, what we're going to do is put this housing on here and make sure it clears. We're going to clamp this housing down and blow the air in here, kind of like the way it would naturally go and have air come out here. This is a scientific indication if air is in fact coming out of here. Let's adjust this camera here. Can you see that? Air should come out of here and go that way. Even more scientific, I like it. If it gets to 30 pounds of boost, that should It'll go out, yeah. go straight. doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> when do I let go? Did the glue let go? It looked like the glue might have just let go. Oh, it, it, it buckled and hit the side. That's what happened. The bearing let go, it hit the side, and then come off. So you see this, the fidget spinner, it spins, but it's not, it's not very smooth anymore. So you can see that it broke the housing. This is where we had the Honda Bond glued to that centerpiece right there. And this is Honda Bond onto the pins. But now, <laughs> that bearing let go. So this is a better version he made, same wheel, but it runs one of the real expensive ceramic bearing fidget spinners. I know you said this one was actually expensive. I don't want to ruin it, but this one is obviously designed to, to go quite a few more RPM. Yeah, you can hear that one. Yeah. Bearing sound shot. Feel this one. This one's also heavy. You see the bearing moved in the center. Yeah, that it's one's better. not designed. That was not designed for the really high RPM turbine wheels. Now that one is nice. Listen to that. You the weight even, will help too. You can't even hear it. Yeah, that one will be serious. All right, round two. Let's glue that one in there. Let's try it again. <laughs> Why, how do you break it? <laughs> like we don't need to run it again. Let's do the put in the vise and tighten it up right. All right. And now we wait.